Welcome to my YouTube channel, where I'll share my experiments in 3D printing, laser cutting, CNC machining, electronics, coding, and generally making stuff. To have a presence on YouTube, I need to make videos. I don't have a video camera, but my iPad can take video, so I decided to laser cut a clamp to attach it to a tripod. I considered buying one on eBay, but since I'm still getting to know my laser cutter, I reckon that making a stand myself will be a good introductory video for my new channel. Even on eBay, iPod tripod clamps cost around £10, and so I can probably make one for a bit less and learn a bit more about the laser cutter at the same time. To make the iPad clamp truly universal, it needs to be able to screw into a standard tripod fitting. The smaller size the most common is one quarter inch 20 UNC. One quarter inch refers to the nominal thread diameter and 20 refers to the number of threads per inch. I found a one quarter inch 20 tap on eBay and I think that 10 millimeter thick acrylic sheet should be able to hold that thread well enough. I need to figure out what size hole to cut in the acrylic to take the tap. So I found this page that told me a number seven drill bit is best but I don't understand US drill sizes. So I found another great site that told me it's about 5.1 millimeters. I'll probably have to experiment to find the perfect size for the tap in acrylic, but that gives me a starting point at least. I measured the shoe of a small tripod to find rough dimensions for my base. A piece of 10 millimeter thick acrylic will form the base of my clamp and should be thick enough for me to bolt the rest of the clamp into. Here I'm cutting a 5.1mm hole, offset roughly as much from the centre uh, as on the tripod shoe. Working from that circle that you saw last, um, I've created this, uh, this longer piece with two layers of 10mm acrylic. Um, the slot in the top piece of 10mm acrylic is the same length as my iPad is wide, which is 24cm, and it's 7.5mm deep. Um, I found those dimensions on the Mac website. Obviously you can measure these yourself, but I find uh, manufacturers' websites and spec documents are, are a bit more reliable than some of the measurements I've managed to get myself, even using a vernier caliper. Um, these smaller holes in the top layer are for bolts, 3mm bolts, um, and in the bottom layer, in the same places, I've made 2.5mm wide holes. And from experience, I know that I can probably bolt through without using nuts on the end of the bolts and self tout the bolts into the acrylic. Um, the larger holes on each end are for 8mm threaded rod. And you see here I've got uh, an essentially identical piece with two layers of 5mm acrylic instead. Um, and this will be the top piece and they'll both be joined together by the threaded rod and hopefully hold the iPad in place very securely. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is convert this into um, two-dimensional drawings still within SketchUp uh, which I'll be able to export to the laser cutter um, but probably what I should do before that is check that the hole on the bottom uh, the 5.1 millimeter hole is actually the correct size to, to tap a, a tripod screw into um, because that's something I really have to experiment with first and then as soon as I get that right in a scrap piece of acrylic um, then I can transfer that final measurement that I find into this drawing and go ahead and cut the whole piece out. So I've made a drawing which consists only of a 5.1mm hole. Um, I'm sending it via Pronterface, uh, via a process I'll go into in later videos to the laser cutter, um, just to check that it fits well with the, with the bolt on the tripod shoe itself. I was pretty happy that this went through this acrylic, which incidentally is 8mm rather than 10 It went through it pretty well, uh, making straight edges. 
So I'm just going to get the tripod shoe off the tripod and try to screw that in. It was pretty difficult. I couldn't actually self-tap it very well, although I thought it was worth a try. Um, and luckily I was able to borrow um, a, a quarter inch tap. And that, as you see, it went in pretty well. And after that, the, the tripod shoe screwed on very firmly. Um, I had a problem fight with this uh, little spring-loaded directional mount thingy on the tripod shoe. Um, so I decided to incorporate a 4mm hole to accommodate that into the, uh, final, into the final design. Here I was trying a 3mm hole, or that is, is a 2.5mm hole tapping a 3mm bolt. And that was pretty tight. It works in 3mm acrylic, but in the 8mm it's, it was just too difficult to put the bolt all the way in without tapping. So, yeah, it was, it was pretty difficult to get that back out as well, and it, it, it was basically protesting a bit too much. Um, so, I decided to tap those 3mm uh, bolt holes in the final design as well. So after checking those two sizes of holes that I was going to use in the design, I went ahead and sent the whole thing to the laser cutter. It's, it turned out that I didn't really need to make any adjustments. Um, again, I was really happy with the way the cutter went through 8mm acrylic and the edge is very much parallel, well as much as I could have hoped. Um, and here I'm just tapping the quarter inch hole for the for the tripod mount just checking it goes in well and the uh, the directional thing was lined up it clips in pretty well the whole thing was a bit wobbly but it seemed to be the tripod itself um, that was a bit wobbly so maybe I need to get a new tripod now um, and these are the 2.5 mil holes that I'm tapping with a 3 mil tap in the base piece um, and uh, then I'm screwing the, the base piece together. There's just two layers, one with the slit for the iPad in on the top and the, and the bottom one which has the hole for the tripod mount on. Here's the top piece in 5mm acrylic and I'm going to attach that to the bottom piece using 8mm threaded rods with springs uh, which will let you lift the top piece up slightly to remove the iPad and here's the whole unit assembled together with the tripod shoe on the bottom. So yeah, it looks pretty convincing there on the tripod. Let's see how it does. That was a nice positive clip there as I put it into the mount. Excuse the bathroom, this is the only place with a wall mounted mirror so you could see what I was doing. I could definitely improve this design, but at least uh, the, the next project I do, I'll be able to film it from better angles than the ones that you've seen in this video. Um, and I'll make all the DXF files and SketchUp files available. Uh, just look down in the video description where I'll include a link to a page on my website with all of those files. In later videos on my channel, I'll cover the process of turning a 3D model in SketchUp into a 2D DXF, which you can send to a, a laser cutter. So please do subscribe to this channel because apart from anything else, it should gradually accumulate uh, a whole series of videos about how to get the most out of your laser cutter as well as on uh, various other electronics and uh, computer-aided design, CNC machining sort of topics.